Warning, before you begin, this video is not a replacement for reading and understanding the precautions and procedures outlined in the service manual. It is a training aid for qualified and authorized service professionals. Also, be sure to reference the user manual, the installation guide, and the service manual for any further questions as well as warnings that may apply to this particular unit. Begin by removing power to the unit. Then, located on top of the unit, locate the three Phillips head screws to the control board access panel. Once the screws are removed, lift up and remove the panel. Next, using a cell phone or a tablet, it's always recommended to take a picture of where the wires are located and plugged into. Then, disconnect the wires. Once all wires are disconnected, remove the screw holding the control board in place. Then, release the clips that hold the control board in place. Lift the control board up and out of the holder. Place new control board in. Fasten with the Phillips head screw. Reconnect all wires. Once all wires are connected, replace the cover and attach with the three Phillips head screws.